Good morning, everyone. My name is Air, and this is Plan Free. Welcome to the office. Lori and I have been geographically free since she was 35 years old and I was 37 years old. This is definitely not said to brag or boast in any way, but rather the intent here is to encourage you, to provide you an example, and to lift you up to provide belief that if you do some of the things we talk about, you can also add more freedom in your life. The lifestyle that you see us living today is a culmination of several years of studying, reading, adjusting our habits, our mindsets, identifying examples of people who had the lifestyles that we wanted, committing to the debt-free lifestyle and also committing to not taking on any additional personal debt in our lives. We're going to be talking generally about these concepts in today's video, but we have more specific videos available to you on subjects like the three things I would do initially to add more freedom in your life, how to manage your income for freedom, things like the power of a dream board or how it was so powerful in our life. Those videos will be ongoing and some of them are already available to you guys. You just need to watch more videos on our channel. In the beginning, it started as an idea. Lori and I were forever thinking about there has to be more to life than going from point A to point B, work, home, work, home, work, home, vacation two weeks, and then start all over again for another year. We, we just simply meditated on that idea that this can't be all there is to life, there has to be more. In the areas of studying and reading, certain books that we would uh, read over and over again would be books like The Magic of Thinking Big, The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss, The Magic of Believing, Think and Grow Rich, books like that. From early on in our marriage, Lori and I committed to a debt-free lifestyle and certainly not taking on any more consumer debt, as I mentioned before. If that's your scenario, you're already well along your way for freedom in your life. If currently you, you are in debt, the good news is, is some of the videos in the past that we've already produced and will produce in the future discuss debt, how to get out of it, and provide constructive suggestions on how to go about doing so. Hey everyone, just wanted to add a couple of things on uh, mortgages that I forgot to say at the beach earlier. My apologies, those working conditions were kind of adverse. So now that we're home in a nice quiet room, I wanted to add a couple of things for you. Debt in the form of a mortgage is a different category for us because it's now tied to uh, an appreciating asset in the form of the real estate, the underlying real estate. So in our viewpoint, mortgages are in a different family than the standard consumer debt or debt on depreciating items like cars. For Lori and I, we had and still have two mortgages that we needed to free ourselves from the obligations of those before we could transition into a geographically independent lifestyle. So what we did in our scenario, and maybe this will provide some inspiration or some ideas for you out there uh, looking to transition, is that we moved ourselves out of both of these locations, both the condo and the house. Uh, we rented them out and have rented them out for the last seven years. This created freedom for us because we no longer had to come up with the money each month to satisfy the obligations on the mortgage, the mortgages whereas now the renters would be doing that. So that's why essentially we don't count them. And when we say we're debt free, we mean debt free in every area outside of real estate mortgages. Because while mortgages are still debts, like we do count them as a debt on our net worth statement, we don't count them now that we've been able to remove ourselves from the obligation of having to pay them. Once we had committed to the idea of living a free lifestyle, both geographically and financially, Lori and I began to prepare for this. Some of the ways this happened for us was already being debt free, we decided we were going to accelerate our savings plan. For the two or three years leading up to our total freedom, we began to save upwards of 80 to 90% of our income. I was in a finance career and we were making a considerable amount of income far and above what we needed. So this created the ability to save a massive portion percentage-wise of that income. Simultaneously during this time with an eye on the end goal, we also voluntarily adopted a much more frugal lifestyle than we could afford to live. 
So what that meant for us is we would voluntarily scale back our expenses in areas like entertainment, groceries, clothing budget, alcohol, transportation. So for example, we went from driving Porsches and BMWs when we were in the finance industry to exchanging those for things like 15 year old Jeeps. And what that did was it just lowered the amount of capital that we had committed to these things and it freed up more capital for us to save and invest in freedom. So for most of us, everyone, you're gonna to have to make decisions along those lines. If you eventually decide that freedom is more important than just straight income in your life. Unless you're one of the chosen few who happens to be a trust fund baby or is so good looking and popular that you can make money just by getting up in the morning and being you, you're probably gonna to have to make some sacrifices to exchange freedom for income. Eventually you can rebuild your income and have a nice balance of both of these things, freedom with income, obviously that's the end goal. In the meantime though, it's gonna require giving up some things. So everyone, the concept I'm trying to illustrate right now means temporarily you may have to sacrifice things like, like looking cool for people that don't really think about you very often but we might think they do. Things like super flashy cars with the coolest mags and wheels on them. Things like always representing the high-end brand names and having these multiple hundred dollar shoes. You don't have to give up these things forever necessarily, but we are gonna have to short-term prioritize freedom over some of these other materialistic type of things. Another area of exchange or sacrifice for us to transition into the lifestyle of geographical freedom was income. We exchanged 80% of our income to gain freedom. So if you were to ask me today, would I exchange my freedom to regain 80% of my income? <laughs> the answer is no, I would not. Another thing that Lori and I chose to do as we made our transition to a more free lifestyle is we had a small business in place where Lori was the sole proprietor and the engine of the business. So over time, we made adjustments where Lori started to delegate herself out of the physical work of the business. She started to hire people to do the work where she took more of a managerial and administrative role. What that meant again was we gave up the vast majority of the income from that business to buy or leverage into the freedom that we desire. It's decisions like these that you'll probably start to notice a theme in what we talk about, where we consciously make decisions prioritizing freedom over just making as much income as we can. And it's probably one of the foundational ideas that's allowed us to preserve our geographical freedom for the last seven years. In the area of analyzing and looking at new opportunities that come our way, we always keep in the forefront of our mind things like, is this opportunity geographically independent? Meaning, can we include this opportunity in our life without having to be some specific physical location? If it is truly location independent, then we can at least continue to analyze it. But we made a decision long ago that we will not take on any opportunity that requires us to be any specific geographical location because we're our freedom isn't for sale at this point in time. So we're not even considering exchanging our freedom for income. I encourage you to adopt a similar thought process. One thing further to note on this subject, everyone, is that let's say you have an opportunity that comes your way that is geographically dependent. There could be factors that influence you to take that opportunity. The income could be so large and perhaps it could be for a temporary period of time, say one, three, six months, a year, where if you took this opportunity and it was geographically dependent, you could, from the income, set yourself up for more freedom down the road. So what you're doing there is you're instituting a concept called delayed gratification. Where, okay, I'm gonna sacrifice for this amount of time because I'm gonna get this in the end, and with this, I'm gonna leverage it to purchase my freedom. That's a scenario that could end up working. Another thing that we utilized, Lori and I, was to start delegating ourselves out of the daily tasks that our lives required of us. So in the areas of business, property management, day-to-day uh, -day things like 
collecting the mail, our taxes. We started to identify people in our lives that could come into those scenarios and help us. Simultaneously taking ourselves out of those scenarios and creating more freedom. So I would like to encourage you to look at ways in your life that you can literally take yourself out of these tasks and enjoy more freedom. Everyone, I hope this provides some thought-provoking starting points for you to begin to consider how you can add more freedom in your life and start to think beyond the simple point A to point B work to home type lifestyle. As you can see, the crowds are starting to gather behind us. The snorkeling's about to ramp up. Lori and I are gonna change into some swimwear and snorkel with them. If you can't beat them, join them. On that note, we hope you join us. If you're finding value in what we're talking about here and you like it, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out. Guys, I've really enjoyed talking with you this morning. My name's Air. This is Plan Free. We're going to go hit the reef. Bye for now. You'll see these types of decisions where we prioritize freedom over income as a theme in our life. And it's one of the ways we've been able to perspective.